How to cope with a diagnosis of terminal cancer, its effect on family, friends, and loved ones. The news of a loved one's terminal cancer diagnosis can be devastating. Whether the person diagnosed is a friend, family member, spouse, or romantic partner, hearing that the individual has been given just months to live can be overwhelming. Some people may panic and feel fear when they hear this news because of how it makes them feel and how much it makes them think. Others may try to deal with the situation by turning inward. Coping with a loved one's terminal illness is challenging under any circumstances. However, reacting negatively to a terminal cancer diagnosis makes it even more difficult. Dealing with a terminal cancer diagnosis requires not only the individual coping, but also everyone they are close to and those who love them outside of the household. Speak with the person you care about terminal cancer diagnosis requires not only the individual coping, but also everyone they are close to and if you care about the person diagnosed with terminal cancer, you may want to speak with them about their diagnosis and what it may mean for them. When you do this, make sure to do it gently and with tact. You don't want to push the person you care about into sharing too much or answering questions they are not ready to answer. While it is important that you know what is going on with your loved one, you also want to be sure they are okay and are not feeling overwhelmed by everything they are experiencing. Simply offering to listen to them or be there for them when they need a break can go a long way. If the person you care for has children, check in on them regularly and ensure they manage their feelings about the situation, especially if there are children involved. If your loved one has a partner, make sure to check in with them regularly as well. Be supportive and understanding. It is extremely important to ask your loved one how they feel and what they want from the situation. You don't want to push them into sharing more about their diagnosis than they feel comfortable with, but you can be there to listen and be supportive when they are ready to talk. If there are children involved, make sure to check in with them regularly, like by allowing them to talk or distracting them from the situation if they feel overwhelmed. Even if your loved one does not want you to discuss their health directly, you can be there for them emotionally. Don't push for any kind of miraculous cure or treatment. Don't push your loved one to try any miraculous cure or treatment to save them or bring them back from the dead. Do not make any promises you cannot keep, nor promise results that cannot be achieved. You may want to offer to pray for your loved one or to send support their way, but do not promise anything. It is okay to provide love and support for the person you care about, but keep your promises. Stay connected to friends and family. You don't have to be there for your loved one 24-7, but try to keep in regular contact with them. Keep the lines of communication open so that you can be a source of support for them during this difficult time. If you cannot physically be with your loved one, let them know that you are thinking about them and offering support. You can also tell them that you are keeping their memory alive and sharing stories and anecdotes about them with others. Let your loved one know that you are there for them and that you care. Talk openly about what you need and want from the situation. If your loved one has told you that they have been diagnosed with cancer, it is important to be honest with them regarding what they have been diagnosed with in their prognosis. It is okay to be afraid and to want to do everything in your power to cure or prevent cancer, but it is also okay to accept that there is nothing you can do. Offer your love and support for your loved one, but also be honest with them about what they can do to move forward. Talk about how you want to keep them as engaged as possible so that they do not feel too much disengagement. If your loved one has been diagnosed with a terminal illness, journaling or writing down your feelings can be helpful. This can help you overcome feelings of helplessness and hopelessness. Writing down your feelings can help you address the emotions you are feeling and can also help you move forward. Journaling can help you address the emotions you are feeling and can also help you move beyond those feelings. Conclusion Reaching a point where you feel you cannot cope with the situation any longer is a sign that you are managing. It can be helpful to keep track of your feelings so that you can address the emotions you are feeling. There is no typical reaction to a diagnosis of terminal cancer. The best you can do is pay attention to your own feelings and reactions. If you feel like you are getting overwhelmed and feeling helpless and hopeless, refer back to your notes for a deeper understanding. You can aid in your healing and turn a terminal illness into an opportunity to live a full life.